you ever want something so bad, you'd stop at nothing to get it. <laughs> Wonderful! You want more? I'll give it to you. You may not recognize me in these dire straits, but my name is Volothamp Gedarm, realm-renowned author, author, and tastemaker. Open this cell, and I'll never forget the kindness. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Boys, crush the heretic! I'm coming as fast as I... Drow? What do they... Hello? Hello, hello. Oh, that. Just preparing my war cry. I'm coming as fast as I can. Songbirds could peep war cries more chilling than yours. Needs a bit of work, I reckon. Come on. It's time we paid Spike a visit. Look it, Claw. Sapper's here. Unless you've got another reason to be here. Feck shite. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Good for you, mate. Now get out of my sight before my wall grips you a new hole. How'd you know? Dumb as a rock, but world class at tearing the throats out of wee ones, she is. Rest of her litter's inside in the pens. Beautiful beasts. Course. Ripped out three bellies on our last raid alone. Be a shame if you came all this way without having a look. But I can't let you pass just like that. Celebrating a raid, we are. You'll need to wear our war colours. Nice to have her this across the mug. Ought to do it. Ha! You! You what? Nah, you're all hot air. Nice bit of war paint will put you in your place. Go on. Don't skimp, neither. All right, all right. Calm down. I'll do it. Just give me a moment to... Oh, absolute preserve me. It's still warm. It's gone. Are we done? Both? We're having a party. We're celebrating a raid. Set Joaquin's rest ablaze. Caught ourselves a duke and all.
Still breathing, despite everything. Let's have some carnage. Behold! <laughs> take your fill! Go warn the others! I'll hit the drum! Time to waste. with haste. Making my move.
Make way. Enemies oh. fall. Maneuver them. Never a dull moment. Can't slow down. Well, that's that. I've but one last battle in me. Shall we extend our bargain? A feast for the ages, then. Call when you're ready, my morsel, and not a moment before. With fragulous crown and with scepter a braid, draw Ragslin, short work of the innkeeper made. <laughs> the inn burnt to ash, the captives were many, goblin kind had reduced them to cowering filfenny, so. Raise it, your goblets, and drain them with pride. Draw Ragslin, the true soul, had fled you collide. <laughs> Why, I never... You, move off! Do as she says, now. <clears throat> uh, now, where was I, huh? Wait a tick. That a friend of yours? Oh, certainly not. What are you doing? I'm busy here. You lying. To you? Never. Come, let's continue our ballad. <clears throat> draw Ragslin, draw Ragslin. Um, uh, um, uh, I reckon draw Ragslin's the gobbo in charge. The way this one's carrying on. I am a draw ragslin. Um, um, tumptuous uh, draw ragslin. Uh, um. Bah, you broke him. Wait, wait. Uh, draw ragslin. We pray. We. Uh... Come on, pigeon. Back to your cage. Now look what you've done. Well, now. You look like a toughen, but have you got smarts, skills, guts? No doubt, mate. But this ain't dragons or demons or anything else you might have faced. This, this is chicken chasing. It's got feathers, don't it? A beak. 
Besides, I reckon it owes us seeing as how it just ate our last chicken. Reckon it owes us a game. You want to hear the rules or not? Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been bested by the bird. <laughs> Fancy yourself, do you? Care to pin that claim down with some coin? Cocky, eh? Maybe you've got the skill to back it up. Or maybe I'm about to make a heap of coin. Let's get a crowd going and find out, eh? The dead gods only know where these roaches stowed, Halsin. Keep your nose to the ground and I reckon we'll get a whiff. Do not doubt the blade. A dragon's wink is no quicker. Go on! It's just a cub! Get it back on the field! Hurt me! Run! Where? Safe. There. Run. It's just a cub! Get it back on the field! We're gonna have a winner! Oh, it's it's we'll strong. be betting against you next time! That's the game done. Come here. Well, look here! That thing works even better in a chicken. Reckon we won't eat it after all. Pardon? You're what? Think you misunderstood, mate. Ain't no winnings, cos only a goblin can win chicken chase. Says so in the rules. <laughs> it were only a joke, mate. Here, no quarrel with ya. Mother gone. Hungry. New home? Maybe. Got to get away from here first. The cub seems anxious to leave, but afraid to defy the goblins. They have to be dealt with, one way or another. Well, if it ain't our fledgling chicken chaser. Got a taste for the game now, do ya? Is ya now? Reckon I feel differently. Reckon the lads will too. Hell's fine. We'll just take the fat bird, if it means that much to you. We'll find another chicken. Fresh disarm with me bare ends. We could in pixies, humans. Oh, you got him good. And who are you? Another pest? Humans. Think you rule the world. Ha! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Well, not us. Things are changing. We got the absolute on our side now. You better learn your place. Go on. Kiss my foot. 
or I'll wipe that nasty look right off your face. End him or leave him, but don't you dare grovel to this slug. Look, mate, just piss off. You're not welcome here. The goblin stares, mouth agape. Then he sets his jaw and falls to his knees. There. I've done it. Arrogant swine. He... He kissed your feet. What was it like? I just... Just curious. That good? Oh... You're lucky. I... I get excited just thinking about it. Food hungry. No, strong, big. Big friend. Now there's a feathery face I didn't think I'd be seeing again. No, run. It'll be back. You sure you know what you're in for? Oi! Ain't no party in here! We're doing the absolutes work! State your business. Now! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Normally, we stick you foreign types in the spider pit. But the Absolute says we're all making nice now. So in you go, I suppose. Well now, gonna have to be more specific than that. We're drowning in true souls, here we are. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Ragslin, or the Drow? Seems we've pegged all three marks. Let the boss hunt begin. Enough gabbing, yous. You want Ragslin, Gut, or the Drow? Well, look. Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Ragslin himself. Throne room's at the back. He's communing, mind. So step soft. Poor lad. I'm only going to make it hurt more. Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? Uh, please, stop. Spike, enough. Look what the absolute dragged in. It's my pussycat. The Blade of Frontiers. You come for a rematch? Can't wait to add the remaining eye to my collection. I'm not here for you. I'm here for the woman. I know you took her. Where is she? Where is Mizora? His mind remains closed to you. You focus on the source of the power, but it is quiet and still. It needs to rest. That Mazora lass, a friend of yours, Blade. Smells funny when you burn her. 
Scream's real good, too. Tell you what, Pussycat, make this rat squeal, and I'll take you right to her. You want me to... to torture him? Forget it! Then forget your precious lady, mate, and slink out of here! You become one with Will. Shame grips him as he considers the tools at his disposal. Will pauses, then takes a hot poker and holds it against the man's leg. The prisoner howls and the stench of charred flesh fills the room. Will responds by grabbing the tongs and yanking the nail from the prisoner's thumb. Ah! Oh, please, please. We... To the east. Past the ruins and the bridge. They, they covered the gate with ivy. The grove? No! His eyes roll back as he slumps forward. Look at him! You got him good! And we got what we needed! The blade always knew how to throw a party! You got your answers, now take me to Mizora. Take you? <laughs> She's long gone, pussycat! Only the Absolute knows where the drow took her. The gods be damned. I will rip you to shreds. The battered man hangs slack from his chains, barely breathing. The man coughs hard, but his eyes shoot open and the colour returns to his cheeks. Get away. Please. No more. Help. You, you could have killed me. Are you mad? Just... Just leave. Please. I tortured a man. And for nothing. Mizora. Where are you? Answer me, damn it! Your minds connect, and you see the same devilish face you'd seen when you first met Will. Look, you want answers, but it's not the time or the place. We'll talk in camp when I'm ready, and I'll tell you what you want to know. Don't go bothering my pigeon, he's mine! Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. 
till I gets hungry or some such. What's it to ya? Then catch one on your own! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Take him for a jog, why don't ya? And don't let the lads snatch him up. No tell him what they'll do to him. Bring him back when he's all tuckered out. Here's the key. Pigeons are all yours. Oh, my friend, we can speak freely. I'm in no hurry to take my turn on that spit out front. Perhaps you'd be so kind as to unlock this cage? Of course not. As compensation, I can assure you the tale of your heroism will live on forever. Then please, a favor. Notable figure, too. Notable figure. You may not recognize me in these dire straits, but my name is Volothamp Gedarm, realm-renowned author, author, and tastemaker. Open this cell, and I'll never forget the kindness. Bless you, my friend. I'll wait nicely, but please don't tarry. Aha! I knew I could count on you, my friend. We mustn't tarry, but I'd hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. I'll slip away when the coast is clear. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain! Greetings, child. I've met few aside from goblins here. Ah. Are you also here to assist with the prisoner? Quite right. I was invited to teach them. I live for pain and its intricacies, you see. But, alas, they insist on being so primitive. Pain without purpose is a terrible thing. Wouldn't you agree? Exactly. Pain is an intimate thing. It should be delivered with a loving and measured hand. But trying to discuss such subtleties with these creatures is simply... Forgive me, but that look in your eyes... Something terrible has happened to you. Because I see those same eyes when I look in the mirror, dear one. We've all suffered in these dark times. It is little wonder you bear scars of pain and anguish. Please, let me alleviate this pain. As the Maiden of Pain, the Goddess Loviata teaches us, through penance, administered by my skilled hand. My work can grant peace and serenity, the likes of which few experience. It will be worth it, I promise. I wouldn't let his skilled hand anywhere near me. Oh, I have something exquisite in mind. 
Both Loviatar and I are interested in how you handle pain, dear one. And should you delight her, you will most assuredly receive her most gracious blessing. Trust me. Simply face the wall, and we can begin. Move to the wall and face it, child. Yes, this will do nicely. <coughs> the pain you suffer will cleanse you. Do not fight it. <laughs> you want more? As you wish, dear one. Oh, bravo! Encore. <laughs> wonderful! Just wonderful! <laughs> Wonderful. You want more? I'll give it to you. It was a fine strike. Excellent form. <laughs> ha! <sighs> That's it! Welcome the pain. Let it become part of you. Yes, my child. More for Loviata. More. <clears throat> Sweet child, you bore the pain like a true believer. I am proud to have served you this penance. You're starting to sound like the goddess herself, dear one. Loviata herself found your performance inspiring. She has deemed you worthy of her blessing. On a personal note, thank you. That was positively divine. I know you've got questions, but let me ask you one first. You ever want something so bad, you'd stop at nothing to get it? Then I reckon you'll understand. I told you how Spike torched the village and yanked out my eye. I vowed to the hells and the heavens that I'd make him pay. But that wasn't the whole story. A woman rose from the town's ashes. She called herself Mizora. My soul shivered as soon as her lips touched my ears. She promised I'd have my revenge. Mizora would forge me into a hero. I'd have the power to slay my every enemy, save their every victim. All in exchange for my endless devotion. She only revealed her true form after I'd said yes. A Cambion. Half human, half devil. She gave me a new eye. A sending stone to connect us. For calling on me whenever she so wished. Raphael. Mizora. The devil's game has but one end. My soul is now hers, in this life and beyond. The flames and fury of the nine hells themselves. 
she showed me how to conjure fire and to command beasts. The more I craved, the more she promised. Balls of fire, festering clouds. I went from spoiled brat to saviour. My way of avenging every blameless life taken. Slay enough monsters, save enough villages, and there could be... Peace. I didn't at first, but then I came to know its true cost. I took my first taste of victory, sweet as silk root, and then another, and another. Mezora would come just after battle, kiss my neck, touch me just so, dangle just one more promise over my head. A game with no winner and no end. There came a time I wanted out. I was telling Mizora just that when the squiddy snatched us both. After the crash, goblins plucked her from her pod and... Well, I reckon you know the rest. I don't know what the drow want with Mizora, but she promised to break our bond if I save her. I free her, and she frees me. Mizora demanded a price I was unwilling to pay. One I won't speak of. Not now. And not here. The bargain is void if she's killed, near as I can tell. A nigh impossible task, even for the blade. If the drow slayed her, they'd do me a great favor. Or so I think on the darkest days. But she still lives. They want something from her. Gods know what. Thank you. Your loyalty means more than the whole of the realm's riches. Onward then. And may we be free from the devils that might bind us. You recall Raphael's infernal smirk, his goading voice. And the devils that already do. Blood hurts. Look, cut. The cub inspects the wound, giving it a curious peck. Good. No hurt. Teeth. Claws. Bigger. Strong. Fight. Win. Kill? No. Strong. Show you. Yes, my friend? I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That, that can't be. You're mad. But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers. Unless... Unless... 
That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous. Isn't it? Still, there'd be no harm in me taking a teensy look with her. I know all the signs. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet God! I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time and I'll have this little issue sorted. Food. Gift. The cup looks to a mass of feathers on the ground. A dead bird. You eat, you bite. Fool, eat, bite. The cup tears into the bird with ravenous abandon. Brilliant. Now we'll never be rid of it. My friend, how do you fare? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. You only have a matter of days to live. Don't dally, my friend. Talk to me. The blade comes from noble stock chief. Born in Baldur's Gate, bred in the upper city. And a steadfast dagger in my father's side. A different time, a different will. Oh, you got me all wrong. Hell, the man was my hero. He saw whatever shiny bauble he wanted and took it. And my fingers were every bit as sticky. Then I went thieving in the wrong shadows. Got myself into trouble. Father shipped me off to the Flaming Fist. Figured they'd teach me a few lessons. I've learned a few, all right. Just not the ones he expected. Shah's blessings upon you. You already know my biggest secrets. What more can you ask? What, besides my life's calling and the greatest problem I've ever faced? Well, I like night orchids and can't swim. Is that the sort of thing you meant? It's a deal. No. 
I can't. I mean, I literally can't. There's certain things I can't remember right now. Shah's secrets must be preserved above all else. All who worship her know this. I have had certain memories suppressed, voluntarily, so that I can serve Shah without compromising her. If I manage to return to Baldur's Gate and fulfill Shah's mission, then my memories will be restored. Of course. It is an act of faith, not to be undertaken lightly. Shah will reward me when I succeed. That is not for you to know. Leave it at that. Now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. A priestess, one of the leaders, no doubt about it. Let's make her squeal. What's that? Tell your friend to keep quiet, or he'll lose his good eye. Ready for the fire, are ya? Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself, this'll sting. Maybe you don't need it. After all, you're special, ain't ya? Like me. She probes your mind, tangling your thoughts with hers. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Darkness seems to swallow the temple, leaving you with a vision of the goblin priestess receiving instruction from a handsome young man. One of the chosen. The vision dissolves away, you stand before the goblin priestess in the temple once again. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. With the Absolute's will, I can fix anything. Let's deal with this in my chapel. It's private. Don't want this lot interfering with true soul business. Ready to clear your head? The Absolute will protect me. You don't stand a chance. Time to move. I will ascend. No time to waste. The blade will not bend. Oh. At least things have stayed just. Disgusting creature. We did her a favor. I do not have time for interruptions from underlings. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear one of those the village to the east it's abandoned what do they need to be looks that way, way. but what scouts they? said they heard something moving around out there We're all on the same i do not have time for interruptions from underlings as she turns to you her thoughts mingle with yours a cold hand caressing your brain the chamber melts away to reveal a dark endless nowhere 
In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of. One of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the Gith artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. The thief whimpering in our dungeon tried to flee to their sanctuary. We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. We can't let them find the grove. End her now. Make peace with your absolute. The blade comes for your head. You would dare. Guards, to me! So much for peace. Magnificent sight. See? It squealed! <laughs> it's it again! Keep your hands steady, three. <clears throat> again! Again! Make it squeal again. We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you.
Should work. Taking position. Fighting. Heading there. Finding my way. Let's end this. On my way. Every advantage. Never a dull moment.
swift and lethal. Still alive, so that's progress. Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but... Goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Ah, lunatic then. A jest. I truly am grateful. If only I could repay you. Uh, that look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Are you feeling all right? <sighs> Oak Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. It's no coincidence that you found me here, I'll wager. You're after a cure for this parasite. There's a chokehold of magic binding the creature to you. Any efforts to remove it would almost certainly kill you. Or worse. Patience. I can't just snap my fingers. But I know where the solution almost certainly lies. Moonrise Towers. That place is where the cultists send their captives. Innocents go in, true souls come out. It has to be the source of this magic. Precisely. If we can understand just what this magic is, then perhaps we can rid you of this parasite. It's immensely powerful, whatever it is. Strong enough to slow Ceramorphosis to a crawl. Luckily, that gives you more time. I'm as certain as I can be. If you have a better alternative, I won't stop you. I can't stop you, in fact, which brings me to my next problem. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Rare is the beast that survives decapitation. Help me eliminate the Drow Minthara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. There is no safety. Not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Hello. You are not food. You are friend. Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin coat smells like goblins. Yes. Fun. Ooh, more.
Nothing. Both animals look fine. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. By Vlakith's blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Shuga nal shukok. This is the big boss. Strike him down. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't another true soul. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer, a fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roams the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan ok al koltek shulko kek. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes. What if the creature notes your presence at the crash site? Ragslin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Ragslin's voice, you ask. Who is the Absolute? Ragslin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flares arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! 
That tells me nothing! You feel Ragsland's suspicions. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control. Barely. What were you doing in Faerun? Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high. Control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Gith on the hunt. They know something. Suspicion floods Raxlin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes... What in the... The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it! And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat! No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Say that again. Cause I know I didn't just hear you refuse the Absolute! Boys, crush the heretic! Use it. Coming through. Front of you like this. Ah! 
Sometimes the only way out is through. Let's go. Invenium field! Fleet of foot.
Blood comes easy these days. Two steps at a time. Critical step. Finding my way. No time to waste. Important is ever easy. Two steps at a time.
my path be true. What path lies before me? No time to waste. Interesting times. So our terms have concluded, my little morsel. But there's one last favor I might ask. A lick of that mouth-watering meat of yours. A parting gift, as it were. Consider me satisfied. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. You did it. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. Let's get out of this pit, firstly. Return to the Grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there, and we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here. A scout just reported. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave. But perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. My people are ready to leave when you are. Just give the word. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place. Forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, Master. A misjudgment. One that should weigh heavily upon her. But the Grove still needs her passion. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Soon. First, I must set matters to rights in the grove. And you should celebrate your victory. After being dormant for so long, your infection is unlikely to produce new symptoms spontaneously. Tomorrow morning, we shall discuss what is to come. Rest 
Heal. Celebrate if you wish. Mourn if you must. Come morning, we shall discuss delivering you from your parasite. You've done it. You brought Wholesome back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. To be expected. I am glad you survived intact. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cache. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Let's see what this does. Curse to put my hands on everything. Seems simple enough. Here goes nothing. Well, well. What have we here? With haste. If not over, then through. We're ready to head to your camp. Are you? Excellent. Lead the way. You're handsome. Grab a drink. You're drunk. As you approach the camp, you hear the sound of a celebration in full swing. I hope you'll pardon them. They meant to wait for you. But it's been some time since they've had cause to celebrate. I'm glad to see they haven't forgotten how. Will you join them? The very reason I sought time alone to think. The path ahead is yet uncertain. But they know that and choose to celebrate all the same. I've a mind to follow their example. Calm. The road will still be there in the morning. I hope you will forgive the pageantry, a custom we developed in Avernus. The sky there is utterly black. We took to filling it with stars of our own, to think of better nights in brighter places. Nights such as this one, with a light for every life you've saved. Oh, ah, yes. Volo also wished to show his appreciation. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your sweat. I mean to taste it. Yes. When you lie down for the night, I will come. And I will take what is mine. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. Enjoy myself. There's a worm in my brain, hunters on my trail, and all I've got to drink is wine that tastes like vinegar. I'm just looking for a little more excitement, a little more fun.
Do you think Lazelle would approve? I saw how she looked at you earlier. I'd hate to get between the gith and her trophy. No, I think we'll end this evening as friends. You know, we could always make our own entertainment, darling. Get a little closer, so to speak. Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep, we'll find each other. Indeed you will, my love. Indeed you will. There she is, the woman herself. Let us raise a glass to freedom from tyranny. May we hew a clear path for the downtrodden to travel. To you, a legend in the making. And to you and Lazel, may your stars burn ever bright. You do know how to set the blade's heart a flutter. When the time comes to rest, just say the word and we'll meet at your bunk. Now go off. Have your fun. I've got a tankard keeping me company. Thank you. There's that confidence I like. I thank you for seeking me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. More's the pity you've already found someone else to make merry with. Just the two of you. Lazel. Blade like a razor, wit like a razor, tongue like a razor. I do hope you know what you're doing. Far be it from me, of course, to question your tastes. Indeed. We shared a romantic moment of the mind while cloaked in the weave, didn't we? And I seem to recall a fond allusion to that moment afterwards. Allow me to make the following proposition. There's a book that circulates in Ulm, detailing the first thousand nights of a newly wed king and queen. They turned everything they did into an art. The art of conversation. The art of taste. Time honored and newly acquired. The art of the body. The exploration and acceptance of the self and the other. The art of the night itself. I say we take a page from their book. Forget the book, then. Let's be blank slates on blank sheets. Delightfully new. What do you say? That's because I'm full of delights. We'll let the night run its course, and when everything is quieting down, safe in the arms of sleep, I'll come by to find safety in yours. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Gail. You two looked... cosy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean tieflings. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Something like that. I was taught to reject anything that distracted from Shah. But there'll be time for penance later. Share a bottle with me? Just a bottle. I think you have other plans afterwards. Wouldn't want to keep you. Well, maybe I would. But first come, first served. Shadowheart says nothing, but the glimmer of interest in her eyes is unmistakable. Not tonight. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. Soon. When you rest, I will come. A fine night for it. You're eager, aren't you? But we need to wait a little longer. 
Once everyone's in their bedrolls, we'll slip out of ours and find each other. There's promise in patience, I assure you. Let the night run its course so that we can run ours as well. Don't forget our little agreement. As soon as things quiet down here... The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. With whom will you share a bed? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Not one for taking things slowly, I see. To insatiable urges. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins or anything like that. Something about you. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... They're lost to me right now. Hm. I did. And you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know, but you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? I should think so. Let's head back, if we must. <laughs> I trust you celebrated most heartily. Curious. I wonder if the tadpole shares in your suffering the morning after. I'm glad to hear it. You'll need fortitude for what's to come. I promise to help you with your infection. There's almost certainly a cure to be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's... complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. This is sobering news indeed. But there's no use crying over spilt milk. If this is our only option, to Moonrise Towers we go.
Wait. There's more you need to know. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You could go overland, along the risen road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the shadow curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. You'll need to pick it up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in the Temple of Saluna. Anything is preferable to risking the Shadow Curse. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. Unfinished business. It seems our fates have aligned. Those illithid creatures threaten the natural order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. All three leaders dead. A magnificent showing. The bards will carry your praises across Faerun, hell, across all of Toril, and I'll be leading the songs. May the darkness protect you. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. <laughs> I made an impression then. 
Time will tell, I suppose. I think it looks promising, though. Did I? Don't worry. I was probably just too busy drinking in the sight of you. Don't worry. I think I must have been misjudging you. I can't even remember what it was that made me say that. Fine. What's on your mind? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. I must admit, you've been a surprise, and not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Find a healer, and the sooner the better. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. Oakfather's blessings to you. I studied one up close. Closer than most would care to be to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but... Fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. Those who remained are shadow-cursed. If you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. We have to get to Moonrise, but the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Aridin was convinced there was a hidden entrance in the Temple of Saluna. I'd start there. Well, there's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. I studied the Shadow Curse for years, but to truly understand it and stop it, I must reach its source. Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. That I can find all the wisdom they contain out here, first hand. <laughs> 